Hey guys, what is up? Chris here with Cohesive Friendship Unit, just me today. Uh, for those who don't know, the Vive Cosmos was a VR headset which launched a few months back and promised a similar inside-out tracking experience to the Rift S. Unfortunately, it was ultimately a very mixed bag and not really living up to being a predecessor or a successor to the HTC Vive, where the index definitely succeeded. This really kind of fell flat. Uh, there was very bad tracking, especially in the early days. It has since been patched a little, still not great. There is bad battery on the controllers, which uh, are nowhere near as good at retaining battery life as the Rift S and require more batteries per controller. Uh, but there were some pros featuring a very high resolution panel, but ultimately the very high price tag pretty much set this thing back among all the other problems when looking at Oculus products. But in comes the Cosmos Play, which was recently kind of revealed and shown. It's a cut back version of the Cosmos, which only has four out of the six cameras. It doesn't have a price yet, but I want to talk about why it could be a compelling buy for some people, and I'm curious what other people think. But before we get into all that, we are doing a giveaway for a copy of Risk of Rain 2 on your platform of choice. All you gotta do is be subscribed. You can check out our community tab for more information. So if you love us, sub us, and yeah, let's, let's get on with the video. So again, Cosmos Play, there is no price. It is a cheaper SKU based on the price of the Cosmos, it should be in the ballpark of the Rift S slash Quest. It might be closer to $500, but it should be in the rough ballpark. Is it finally compelling? The first thing I want to talk about is price. I, again, we don't have a price, but I do think that it will at least land in the ballpark of the Rift S slash Oculus Quest. And the reason that I, I think that is just looking at the way that the pricing scales, the $200 price increments from the kind of deluxe model to the normal model, and this, I would guess, would be maybe between $400 and $500, but I know a lot of you are saying, why would I spend $500 on hardware with worse tracking? And this is where the face masks come in. So there's a face mask that you can add on to, or you can, you can replace the front face mask. And one of these allows you to use traditional HTC Vive tracking. So you could use the lighthouses that worked with your index or your HTC Vive. So you can really eliminate the bad tracking and that's kind of a huge plus. Of course, you are then not really doing inside out tracking and you're gonna to have to deal with the wires and all that, but it's an option, right? And the idea that they were kind of pitching was you can take the face mask or off and switch it back to the, the four camera one if you need to take it to a friend's house with like a laptop or something. And when you're home or, you know, if you if you need to move into another room, you can always just not use your base station setup, but use the inside out tracking, even if it's not the best. And when you are in your full room, you can switch back to that. Now, the thing with the face mask is it costs $200, not to mention you would have to have adequate uh, equipment like the base station set up and all that, which also costs money. But the thing that's kind of interesting is this is an upgradable VR headset starting with the starting with let's okay let's let's imagine a lot of people are probably interested in the valve index but maybe don't either can't afford it or don't want to drop the thousand plus dollars on it right this minute without really getting comfortable with VR they want a cheaper point of entry with upgradability well for this you can buy the Cosmos Play which gives you a, a taste of VR and gives you acceptable tracking for a decent number of scenarios. And maybe you get more into it, right? You're like, I really like this, this VR thing. I want some more. Instead of having to buy a whole new headset or sell yours at a loss and pick up a new one, you can 
buy this face mask for $200 maybe a year or two later so it's not as big of a hit on your wallet and then you get the enhanced tracking and then maybe you say oh well you know I, I really like the finger tracking of the index controllers well this headset supports both the normal HTC Vive controllers as well as the Knuckles controllers so this is something that you can really purchase and invest in over time and well it's it's interesting because it seems like at least for me the quest was also has turned out to be something like that where I got the quest and it was really cool and really fun and then about a year later there was this $80 uh, link cable that you could buy that basically turned the quest into a PC VR headset and this is kind of like a similar vein but kind of taken to the next level where it's not only backwards compatible but looks to be kind of forward compatible they're already talking of it an AR faceplate so I guess this headset could be future thinking in certain ways and maybe they will totally fix the inside out tracking or largely fix it but in any event it's also kind of a customizable experience you could feasibly buy a cosmos play and uh, then pick up the knuckles controllers or the index controllers if that's something you wanted so i just thought that while it might be a little bit more expensive initially maybe it'll be like a hundred dollars more the possibility of upgrading over time is compelling and I'm curious if that would be compelling for some people because minus the expanded field of view and the super high refresh rate you're getting pretty close to the index experience and I mean that's something that would be compelling to me but let me know what you guys think down below that's all for now I will catch you next time